students let's discuss about the formation of bivariate frequency distribution so previously you studied about the frequency distribution of a single variable so there you are representing a one variable and its respective repetitions so here bivariate means two variables two variables which are of two variables so in many situations simultaneous studies of two variables becomes necessary for example we want to classify the data relating to height and weights of a group of individuals so this example pertains to body mass index where height and weight both are considered that is for a particular height what should be the weight of that particular individual income and expenditure so how much does a family has an income and how much do they spend how much is the earning and how much is the spending so both here are related to each other ages of husbands and wives number of children and ages of the mothers so here all these are dual variables dependent upon each other or having the effect of one on another okay so this is the uh, gist of a bivariate frequency distribution so what is a bivariate frequency distribution a frequency distribution formed on the basis of two related variables is called bivariate distribution okay let us look at the method of construction of bivariate distribution so by adopting the rules of classification appropriate class intervals are formed for both the variables if one variable is grouped into m classes and the other variable is grouped into n classes then the bivariate table consists of m into n cells so if one variable x is classified that is it is divided into equal number of sub ranges that is called class intervals or classes and another variables another variable y is also divided into sub ranges or class intervals n classes then the bivariate table consists of m into n cells that is the two variables with their respective class intervals are pitted against each other that is they are shown how they are related next second one represent the class intervals corresponding to one variable in the first column and the class intervals corresponding to another variable in the first row so on the left side you will be having the first column and on the top you will be having the second variable class intervals so you are writing the uh, class intervals of x in the left side column that is the first column and you are writing the class intervals of y in the first row that is on the top by going through the different pairs of values of x y variables that is x first and y second put the tally mark in the appropriate cell so when you have the data so x and y will be given to you side by side so you have to look at the x and the y value and you have to relate to them with the respective class interval and put a tally mark to the appropriate cell that is the row corresponding to one variable and column corresponding to another variable using the tally mark frequencies of each cells are calculated so using the tally marks all the cell frequencies are counted the row wise and the column wise total of these frequencies is made to get the marginal frequencies uh, the row wise total and the column wise total so the row wise total gives you the frequencies of one variable x and the column wise total gives you the frequency of another variable y okay so those frequencies are called marginal frequencies they in a bivariate data frequencies belonging to one variable are called as marginal frequencies okay so the total marginal frequencies is equal to the total number of paired observations so if you do the total of x at the same time also that of y both the totals of x and y will be same okay so if there are 20 frequencies given for the data so when you count the frequencies of x that total will be equal to 20 and when you count the frequencies of y that also will be equal to 20 in a bivariate frequency distribution 
the frequency distribution of only one of the variable is considered. It is called as a marginal distribution, marginal frequency distribution. So the frequency distribution of either of the variable x or y is called as marginal frequency distribution. So let us look at an example here. Here the data is given age of mothers and number of children. So these are the ages of mothers in years and this is the number of children that this mother bears. So first one is uh, age of the mother is 28 and she is bearing one child. The second mother's age is 37. She is bearing no child. The third mother's age is 42. She is bearing three children. Okay. So like this age of the mothers and the number of kids they have are given side by side. Now we have to construct a bivariate frequency table here. Okay. So look at the ages of the mother here. So let us look at the minimum value that we have here. The minimum value here is 22. And the highest value here is 48. So 22 minus 48 would be exactly equal to 26. So the range is huge. Hence we divide the age of mother will be here x and the number of children will be y. So you are writing x as a continuous frequency distribution. Similarly number of children the lowest value here is 0. The highest value here is 6. So the range is not very huge. In fact it is very small. So you are taking the number of children as a discrete variable and ages of mothers as a continuous variable. Okay. Now according to the rules of classification we have divided the ages of mothers into uh, these many number of class intervals. So 20 to 25, 25 to 30, 30 to 35, 35 to 40, 40 to 45, 45 to 50 and the number of children are written like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So one at one side it is a discrete uh, sorry continuous distribution and at another side it is a discrete distribution. So the first observation here is age of the mother is 28 and the number of children here she is having is 1. So where would she belong? So the age of the mother is 28. So she belongs to this category and the number of children she is having is 1. So you are striking one tally mark here. Okay. So age of the mother and number of children. So you have to match the two variables at a common cell. So this is the common cell. Her age is 28 and the number of children she is bearing is 1. So this comes down here. So one tally. Next, second observation. 37 and 0. So age of the mother is 37 and she is having no child. So 37, age of the mother comes in this interval and no children, 0 children, it comes here. So this and this. So it marks here. So it mark a tally here. Third one. 42. The age of the mother is 42 and the number of children she is bearing is 3. So 42 comes in this class interval 40 to 45 and the number of children that she is bearing is 3. So that comes here. The common cell which is connected to the 3 as well as the sub range of the age of the mother. Okay. So you are striking a tally here. Similarly, next one, 25, so 25, so there are 25 two times here, you are taking 25 here, so 25 and 2, so you are striking a tally here. So like this, you have to make sure you go on striking the tallies with for the respective ages and the number of children, so side by side. Once you have done this, you have to count the number of frequencies here. So in this cell there is only one tally. So that would be one frequency. In this cell there are there is only one tally. So you are considering this one here. In this cell there are there is one frequency. In this cell there are two tallies. Hence two frequencies. In the, this cell there are again two tallies. Hence two frequencies. So you are counting the number of tallies and writing the frequencies and you are adding them horizontally as well as vertically. So horizontally if we add here there is 1 and 1 so 2. 
1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 6 1 plus 1 2 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 6 1 plus 1 2 1 plus 1 2 so the total here will be 20 similarly you are adding the respective frequencies vertically as well so 2 plus 6 plus 5 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 so that will again will be 20 so you add like this or like this the answer should be 20